Hey everybody, it's Al with CAD CAM Wizard and today we're going to go through uh, importing of a DXF file and uh, setting up a, a job here in Easel. Uh, Easel is a popular uh, low-cost solution for uh, carving and cutting with desktop CNC routers. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to create a new project here. All right, and with this project, uh, I have the on the screen here. This is like the the area of the table that I have set up, and over here I have the the size of the stock. So for this example, uh, we need the stock to be eight by four. Okay, so that's going to be our starting shape, and the reason why is. I've created the, the file, the DXF that I'm going to import in another CAD package. So when I import it in, I have a border around the outside, and this matches the size of the border. Now, normally I recommend zeroing from top center, but I found with Easel, either I just don't understand it, or it doesn't import the way that I want. So to begin with, we're going to have our zero at the front left corner. Okay, so we have our stock set up here, and we have our job preview over here. Now, from here, what I'm going to do is import a DXF file. So we can upload this DXF file. This is going to be this one right here, and we'll import it. Okay, so we upload it. It's going to be joined, and the cut path is on path and we import okay so that brings in our geometry and we can see the preview cut for it uh, so when you import it, uh, it it sets up the cutting automatically so the first thing I want to do is drop the tool size down so we're using a smaller cutter okay so now from here I, I want to change what's happening Okay, because right now if we look at the preview, everything is cutting through the part, and we don't really want that. We want to engrave these names, we want to cut a pocket here, and, uh, and then we're going to want a profile around the outside. So from the CAD screen, what we're going to do is select these shapes here, and then we can use Shift to unselect the shapes that we don't want. We can go to the cut tab, and then the depth of this is going to be 80. So we go 0.08, enter. Okay, so that will update the preview over here, and that's what we're looking for there. All right, the next one, we can select the next shapes that we want to work with. So we can uh, zoom in a little bit here. Okay, so we select this circle, and we'll hold uh, shift. And then we'll select that circle, and we're going to do the same thing, 0.08, enter. All right, so that gets us those two. Now, the next thing we want to do is select the star. So we'll click on the first one, hold shift, and then we'll click on the other two. And we're going to go from uh, cut path. We want to change this to a pocket. And then we'll update this setting to 0.08 and enter. Okay, so we can see in our preview over here, we've engraved our date, we profile cut our circles, and we've now cut the pockets. Now, the last thing we want to do is, well, we want to um, remove this outside shape. So we're going to hold shift and left click on this outside shape and just hit delete. So that, that goes away. And then we're gonna select on this shape here. And this is our profile cutout. So we're gonna make this one go all the way down to the bottom. Okay, so just like what we see in the preview over here, uh, this is gonna be on path and we're good with that. So we can hit enter. And now we have our engraving of our, our date we have our circle cuts and the stars, and we have our profile cut out. So the last thing I'll do is run this through a simulation. So we'll go simulate, and then this will preview the toolpath, 
and we can see that it's starting from this lower left hand corner okay so let's go ahead and stop that what I want to do is have it start from the center so we're gonna move this from left corner to center okay it will preview and update the toolpath this way we can jog the machine over to the center of our work and be able to run our job from there so we're gonna run simulate again and we'll press play and now you can see it starting from the center and it cuts our pockets first and then it will work its way around the other shapes now some of the questions you might have is about how aggressive it's cutting or how fast it's cutting so when we go to our cut settings over here these are the rates in which it's running at and it's set automatic so we're gonna slow this down a little bit we'll make this 20 we'll make this 10 okay this depth per pass that's how aggressive it's cutting so uh, this number might be a little a little shallow um, you know we got a 16 bit it's pretty small so initially it's probably okay but depending on how your machine reacts to the material you can make adjustments there all right so we updated our settings we can run simulation again and play it through speed it up a little bit we can see how it does the inside work first and then it finishes with the outside work uh, if you guys have any questions comments or feedback just reply back to wherever this video may be posted in otherwise i look forward to seeing you in the next one